What would you like to have for dinner, Mr. Sigold? Oxtail soup, and then the taste of tea from the fabled land of Serendib. That little land is wrapped by the singing sea, the sound of water and the wave. Where birds make their song high up the hills painted green, shrubs, neat, man-made from which half the creative creatures roaming earth derive their addiction, the must-have to feel normal, to want to wake up each dawn, and dance at dusk, singing with the moon, with a guitar gently ringing blends of waves of a different sort than those from the song of the sea. Perhaps, with lover, till the dark embraces them, setting them off to dream, to fly, and to float among clouds, tender to the touch. You'd sip and savor what Serendip offers. The highlands, the valleys, the crashing sound of the waterfall, the monuments along with the memory of loving hands lost when the angry sea sang a terrible song, vengeful, engulfing so many, silencing them eternally. When the people smile, you hear their backstory, how they began, how they become, where they have been, why they feel blessed even though the nature of mother bestows tough love sometimes, thorns in the flesh, barriers, and barricades, overcoming as one. You can listen, understand, be as they were, and as they are, then feel the rhythm of hope for tomorrow, how will tomorrow turn out? Do I need to map the path with engineering precision? Or do I let the vagaries of the minims and quavers speak for themselves, lofty and lowly, modulating? We can only agree that wisdom is a function of time, just got to allow tomorrow to happen, and then look back with amazement, that it even happened. For we are in Serendib, princes were here and they discovered joy, happiness, their heaven. They must have tasted some musical mix, tessitura and melisma closing with a luscious cadence. They must have relished and cherished the timbrel variations and glared at the variety of shapes and structures that make such beautiful sonic sensations. Maybe they were music makers, songers, and their utterances tell us how they treasure the pleasure of this magic, this mysterious thing called music. Serendipitously divine. If music be the food of love, play on, some strange dramatic chap declared, his kin had done some cosmic evil to harvest the gold in those green leaves. How then shall we live? Shouldn't each sensuous pulse of air caressing our skin, then stroking our precious eardrum, be fully appreciated as our hearts beat with patterns consistent with the flow of sound? When lover and the beloved are guided by the emotion of an engaging melody, they are in Shangri-La, till the twelfth of never. How is the tea, Mr. Sigold? Fabulous, marvelous, erm, odd, oh, hum, stupendous. Lovely my dearest, as always, my love. Well, the gracious stars are beckoning with their ballads, the kind hands of time are ticking, on Dante, signaling that both of us shall have joyful togetherness amid the sweet sound of silence.